Now, believe it or not, there are some right ways and some wrong ways for you applying fragrance. We spend, well, I do anyway, spend so long trying to find the perfect fragrance for us. Fragrances that make us feel good, fragrances that other people maybe enjoy in us. So this video is all about really finding out how to apply that fragrance. Now, if you're new to this, you're wondering who I am, then hi, I'm Robin, this is Man For Himself. Please do press subscribe right now. Also that bell notification, push it. it means you're not gonna miss out on any videos, right? This first one really is about how you're spritzing fragrance. You don't want to be spritzing too closely, but you do want to be spritzing about five inches away from the body. If it's too close, you can actually damage the fragrance. And also, it's not gonna go over that part of the body, which we are gonna be moving on to. You also don't wanna be spritzing it into the air. We've seen those um, sort of movies, and you get that movie montage, or someone just spritzing straight away with some sort of heavy music, and they walk into it. It doesn't last that way. But something that does make it last, and something you should be doing, is moisturizing after your shower and before you apply your fragrance. This really does help the fragrance to sit onto the skin. Now, if you like fragrances, which I'm sure you do, and you wanna find some of the best fragrances with the best prices and reviews, then I have over 80 on manfromself.com with your reviews, my reviews, and the best prices. This next do and don't is again about how we're spritzing, but it's about our clothing. You don't wanna be spraying it directly onto your clothing. I have seen videos where people are sort of spraying it onto the cuffs or the collars of their shirts. You, you don't wanna be doing that. Fragrance can damage your clothing, so if you've got some nice bits, be careful of it. But you do want to be targeting pulse points. Now, pulse points are really the warmest part of your body. That's really gonna help the fragrance to activate and allow other people to smell it. Again, when you're spraying, you don't want to rub the fragrance into the skin. I have seen this so often, I'm sure you've seen it. I have done it myself before I kind of knew about it. When you're rubbing it, again, you're disrupting that fragrance and you're breaking the molecule. So the fragrance is supposed to work in a certain way and you're not gonna allow it to do that. But you do wanna focus on two areas of the body. You might be spritzing all over, but the two main parts, maybe take a guess now and comment before I give you this, are your wrist and also your neck. Those are the pulse points and the warmest points and they will give off that fragrance. Imagine when you're meeting someone, you sort of smell there or when you're maybe even shaking a hand, you'll know it. With all of this, you should know your fragrance. You will know which of your fragrances last the longest. You'll know which of your fragrances are for evening. But a sort of a, a very basic way of thinking about this or we quite often see colognes. Now colognes would be the lowest concentration of a fragrance up to an eau de toilette, then into an eau de parfum, and then a parfum. So generally, and this is a real generalization, you know, fragrances and brands are slightly different, but a parfum will need the least and actually should, in terms of performance, last a bit longer on your skin. And that's all about not using too much and that will depend on the type of fragrance. Don't feel like you've got to spritz and spritz and spritz and go. I actually had um, an award ceremony recently. I wasn't up for anything. I was just there to drink the free wine. And um, I, uh, I sprayed a lot of this one leather fragrance that you'll actually have seen in my leather video. If you haven't seen that, I should say, I will link it up there. Um, but I just went overboard and it was too much. And a lot of people were asking, what are you wearing? And I'm not sure if it was the right or the wrong reasons. And the flip side to this, and the, the do of this, is to reapply fragrance if and when you feel like it's worn off. So keep your fragrance with you, get a little atomizer, and um, I'll link some down below in the description, and just reapply it when you need it. And that might be on a night out, or it might be after work when you're going to something. So get to know your fragrance, get to know your body, your pulse points, and see what works for you. But there you go, very quick whizzing through the do's and don'ts, and hopefully it might help you. If you've got any top tips for this, always learning, then please do leave a comment in the description, in the comments below, description's mine, comments are yours. And also, if you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do press subscribe right now. The button will be just there. Also, move the suggestions down there, stay with me and watch them. A link to the products pages for fragrance right there. 
and my social, including Instagram, is up there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.